Hello, my name is Christopher Krupa, and uh, several years ago, I lived in Antarctica at McMurdo Station with my girlfriend. And uh, I was working as a cargo handler. I loaded and unloaded LC-130s, uh, which will come up in a couple seconds. Uh, at some point, I became sick and started vomiting after every meal. There's the LC-130. And as you can imagine, uh, vomiting after every meal is both inconvenient and disgusting. Uh, but at some point, I was actually uh, using a loader, and I tried to puke out the door because you know I was in a rush. And I accidentally puked on the side of the loader, like that one right there. Uh, and I learned something. When you apply vomit to frozen steel, the vomit freezes instantly. So you, can, you can't simply wipe the vomit off with your glove. Uh, so I did the obvious thing. I grabbed some chain and I was attacking the vomit. And as the frozen vomit was flying past my face, I was like thinking to myself, I'm just going to go see the doctor. Uh, I, I saw the doctor and she ran some tests and there were some uh, theories as to what could be wrong with me. But pretty much it just broke out into two categories. It was that I was going to be fine or I was terribly sick and dying. So uh, it turns out in Antarctica, they don't generally have uh, doctors who specialize in vomitology. I don't know. Uh, so they were going to send me to New Zealand. And uh, there I was going to have some tests done. There was one other thing. If I was sick and dying, I would also be fired. <laughs> and the reason is, is because they didn't want me dying in Antarctica because they like to keep those numbers really low. Uh, so I might not be coming back. And uh, so I had to say a final goodbye to my girlfriend because I might not see her again. And that was the hardest goodbye I've ever had to, to give. Uh, so yeah. In, in Antarctica, there was two tests I was going to have done. Uh, one was a barium swallow. And one, uh, it's called, this is what I call it. It's the mouth, throat, tube, camera thingy, which actually, I guess, has another name uh, that doctors uh, use. Uh, it's called esophagus endoscopy, as they like to call it. So the first test, uh, the barium swallow. For whatever reason, when I was in the changing room, I felt compelled to take a picture of myself in the, the hospital gown. And for whatever reason, I felt compelled to put those pictures in the slide show. Uh, the thing that was interesting to me about that photo session I had was that as soon as I was done, the nurse was right outside the booth and she asked me if I was ready. So I think she was politely waiting outside the booth, watching the flash from my camera <laughs> reflect off the ceiling. So that's nice of her. Uh, barium. I don't, I'm guessing you guys haven't, most of you haven't had a barium swallow, but it's a thick, chalky, uh, disgusting, thick and disgusting sludge. And uh, the whole time, I was expected to drink it faster and faster. It was like a weird frat party. And they had me laying on this bed that was rotating around uh, while there was this robot arm jabbing me in the stomach kind of hard. Uh, so that was all kind of weird. But as soon as I got done, the doctor, just as like an afterthought, uh, he said, drink as much water as you can, because if you don't, the barium will solidify and we'll have to surgically remove it from your stomach. Have a nice day. <laughs> so that's fun. The, the second one, the mouth, throat, tube, camera thingy, I was actually under general anesthesia, and so that's nice. But I was woken up on the, the bed, and the, there was a doctor sitting next to me, and he was explaining to me what they found. And I was really excited, because I was going to find out if I was going to die, which you guys already know I didn't, but it was suspenseful at the time. <laughs> uh, and then he patted me on my shoulder, and then he walked away. And then I was sitting there, and I, I realized... I didn't understand a word he was saying because I was still coming down from the anesthesia. So after a few minutes, I got bored and I tried to put my clothes on, but the nurses wouldn't let me. They said I wasn't ready, which was really weird to me because that meant in their minds, I was absolutely able to comprehend my medical diagnoses, but not competent enough to put clothes on and walk. So uh, the next day I did find out that I wasn't fired, which I took to mean I wasn't dying. So yay. Uh, I got to go back to Antarctica to my girlfriend. She's the one on the left. And um, we actually got married one year ago this week. Um, happy anniversary. Uh, and yeah, I guess if there's a lesson to learn from this, which I think there is a lesson to learn from this, it's that if you can't stop vomiting, um, just shove something down your throat. It's, it's pretty much a cure-all. So um, thank you. Questions? No? Okay.